Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm an educator and graduate student through Project Dragonfly at Miami University. And something that I've been doing a little bit more of these days is creating. And I came up with a tutorial I'd like to share with you today that takes in some of the memories that I have from my travels to Baja and the Vermilion Sea Institute. Combining them together with some watercolors, this is what I created. This is a galaxy whale shark. Here's an example of the whale sharks that we're gonna to create together today. In order to do this, we will need some items. So let's go through our list. Firstly, we're gonna need some watercolor paper. What I like to do with mine is I actually put it clip to a clipboard. It provides a nice flat surface underneath. You can also just tape it down or leave it as is. We'll need an eraser, a pencil, some paint brushes, and for this, I have a couple styles that I like. I like some larger ones for blending my watercolors, and then later for smaller details, I have these more thinner brushes. But in the end, choose whatever brushes you're most comfortable using. We'll need watercolors, and I have some basics, and then there's some additional colors. And we'll go through some blending techniques together. We'll need a cup of water. And for the very end, we are gonna be putting some details in with just some white paint. Once you gather all those items, come on back and let's get started. Let's begin. First, we're gonna draw the outline of our whale shark. So you wanna have your pencil and eraser ready. I'm gonna take it step by step with you on how I do my whale sharks. I think about their shape almost like a really long teardrop or water droplet. So we're gonna make it a little bit wider here. And then we're just gonna come in like a teardrop some shape like that. And we can change this, this is why we have an eraser. So if you wanna make it a little bit different, you might hear some sounds I have. I have two cats and it's getting close to their dinner time. So they're very excited. <laughs> All right, so we have a shape that I'm pretty okay with. We're gonna to wanna to think about the fins. They have many different types. So we're gonna start with the top fin, which is called the dorsal fin. So going down the top of our whale shark shape, we're just gonna bring almost like a mountain shape angle, and then we're gonna slope it down. I put a little bit of curve as I come down, but do whatever makes you comfortable. Next, we're gonna have our second dorsal fin. I think about this almost like a small little mountain shape. Our tail fin coming off of this end, come out at an angle, connect it down, come out again, and this side's gonna be a little bit shorter. All right, we have a pectoral fin to be down in here in this area. Same thing, bringing this angle down, bringing it up. I bring a little bit of curve in there too. Again, you have an eraser and this is the sketching phase. So if at any point you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm feeling that fin, go ahead and erase it a little bit and draw it until you like it. Awesome. We also have two more fins down here. So many fins. Some little little mountain shapes or triangles. Now when I'm looking at my pectoral fin, I'm feeling like maybe this is a little too exaggerated, a little too long, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter. And I feel good about it. I'm gonna create a different shape here. Again, fine tune however you want. That I feel a little bit better with. When we watercolor, 
we're not going to want to see as many of these lines. So once we get to a good spot, you might want to start erasing just a little bit. Now this is more of a cartoonish looking whale shark. So we're going to have kind of a happy smiling little face here. They are filter feeders, so their mouths are rather large. And I'm just making it into a smiling looking face here. We'll have an eye as well. All right, so this is our basic whale shark outline. The next step I like to do is to take our eraser and to go through and very lightly erase the lines. I'm erasing them so I can still see them as I watercolor, but I don't want the dark colors to show up. So just kind of go through, gently erase. I'm very, just barely holding any pressure on this eraser as I go through my lines. Because of course I still need to see where I'm painting. So notice you can still see your outline. Excellent. Next, we're gonna add some color. For this, I'm gonna focus mostly on more of the cool tone color, so our blues and purples. So I have a blue, a violet, there's a turquoise blue, a blue green, blue violet, and this red violet. This is the only warm color I'm gonna be um, kind of adding in, more of like a pink. Um, and you can see that I've been watercoloring on and off, so I have quite a, quite a mess on the outside. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually mix just on a plate. In order to do this, I'm going to just add some water in different spots. You might have a palette, like a paint palette, and that works. But for today, I'm not too picky. I like to make things work. So I made a few little spots of water, and I'll just pick up pigments. So first I'm going to pick up this turquoise blue. I'm just going to dab it and bring it over here to get some of this blue color. In between, I'm going to make sure to rinse my brush. I'm going to pick up some of this red violet. What other colors that you want to add in, just go ahead and add those. Sometimes when I paint, I don't quite know the colors I'm going to use until I'm in the process. Sometimes it changes. Add some purple here. These are the colors I'm going to start with. I'm going to go ahead and get this palette out of the way. Now for the whale shark, this is the technique that I like to do. Keeping in mind that this area down here will be a little bit lighter. Our darker hues are going to be up above. So I like to take my brush, just dip it in the water. And it is a little colored right now, that's okay. But I like to go ahead and just put some water down, keeping in mind I'm going to focus on the darker areas first. So I'm just going to kind of outline with water the whale shark in the body. And I'm going to add some color in. And what you're going to see is it will kind of bleed around and kind of move. What's fun about watercolors is they almost take on their own form. I'm going to add a darker color in next. And it's okay if you're not sure kind of where you're putting it. Just go ahead and have fun. 
keeping in mind that we do have an outline of the shark, so we don't want to go too far out of that. If you do, that's okay. I'm going to add some more colors. Maybe even some darker blues. Yeah. You'll notice that the colors start to blend together. That's what we're going for. You can do this in layers and let it dry in between. Just, I might try to do that today. And get these little fins down here. We can go down into our pectoral fin too. Give this fin some attention. You'll notice as it dries, it starts to look pretty interesting. Maybe instead of these cooler colors, maybe you want to use different ones. Maybe you want to use reds and oranges. Whatever colors that, or whatever colors you wish to choose are perfect. Next, I'm going to add in some pinks. I don't always have a plan when I'm doing this. As I mentioned earlier, I just kind of play with it. And I chose these colors and it almost looks kind of like a galaxy sort of look. One of the best memories I have from my trip in Baja are just the stars at night. I don't think I've ever seen stars so bright, quite as many. So I thought that'd be really fitting for today's project. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry for the first layer and I'll be back. As it starts to dry, we can add more colors to it. Maybe darken up some of the areas a little. Notice I got a drop of water. I don't quite want it there. You can take a dry brush and just go ahead and absorb it. Next, we're going to come down here in this area. It's going to be a little bit lighter. I like to use more of the pinkish color. So I'll just go ahead and pick up a little bit of the pink and then paint it down. I might connect with some of the other color and blend in. And that's fine too, you can even drag it out a little. If you ever have a spot that maybe is too dark, if you clean your brush and go through and kind of paint over, you'll pick the pigment and you can drag her colors around. Maybe you want to spot up here a little bit darker. I challenge you to just kind of play with it and have fun. Don't take this craft too seriously. This is meant to just be a fun project. Once you get the colors to where you like them to be, 
we're just gonna wait for them to dry. The next step is we're gonna focus more on this mouth here and the eye. I'll be back. Next, we're gonna work on the face. For this, I'm gonna pull my palette back out. Now I did put a little bit of water onto this violet color, and I'm just gonna dip my brush into it. My brush is already wet, and we're gonna draw the mouth. Notice that the pigment is much darker. Once we get a shape we like, you can go ahead and pick more pigment up and drop it in. Next, we're going to do the eye. Again, once you get that spot that you like, if you want to make it darker, you can add more pigment in. And we also have gill slits. Now, whale sharks in particular have five gill slits. So go ahead and pick some pigment up. And we're going to draw the gill slits a little bit before the pectoral fin, maybe right above it, and do five. Awesome, let's go ahead and let that dry. Thank you again for joining me for today's tutorial on a watercolor whale shark. I look forward to seeing what creations you come up with. Oh, <laughs> baby.